What's up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name's Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellanea. Today, I have a post review for you of Paint Gems Black Magic Edition. Ooh, spooky. Because I worked on this kit early in the year, and then I realized, duh, Naomi, you didn't do a post review of this cute little thing. And I wanted to show it to you. Now, I save the box and I save the contents and things like that because I like to put it boop right back in the box when I'm done with it. It keeps it safe until I'm ready to maybe put these in some sort of a uh, like five by seven frame or something like that. But the nice thing about Paint Gem is that these are anywhere from eight to 16 designs. This one has 12, which is a great deal at 35-ish dollars plus shipping, which is not bad at all. I'm trying to look through my book here and see when exactly it was that I came about working. Aha! Completed 126 two square drill small pieces from Paint Gem Kit Black Magic Edition. Uh, doing square drill, da 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 da. Um, 115 middle of the month. Oh, that was on. Okay, yes. So that should have been 215 middle of the month. <laughs> completed black magic edition from Paint Gem. Uh, because I started it at the end of at the end of January and then finished it like middle of February. Um. And I had so much fun with this, you guys. I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, I want to show you all the pieces. And as it is a spooky season, I wanted to make sure that I pulled this out for you and showed it off. Now, these are the leftover drills that I had. It is always nice with regard to Paint Gem that you can make a decision if you want to work out of bags, which I usually do with these Paint Gems just because, you know, I just stick the sticker that comes with it right on the bag. I put some fabric softener sheets inside so there's not static and work directly out of the bag. Now, I will say that, you know, you are going to run into trash drills with Paint Gem. Um, you're going to see a lot that has curvature underneath where technically that is not a, it's not a sufficient drill. It will stick to your canvas though. It just might not necessarily stay. Um, that's true for most places, but, um, all of the colors that you need come in the paint gem kit, which I love. And you always have the extras that you need to work with to complete the kit. So, we like that. All the colors all together. Now, there are no specials as far as Paint Gem is concerned. So you're only going to get the colors that you get with no crystal, no, no pearlescent, fairy dust, glimmer, glitter, whatever you want to call them. No, you know, nothing like that. No metallics. Uh, so... Anyways, let's move right on to showing you through some of these incredibly cute finished canvases. Now, here is this adorable green-eyed witch that had a moth on her. This adorable green-eyed witch. I love that you can see the blush on her cheeks. You can see her green eyes kind of looking to the side like, what's happening? You say something to me? What? What? Uh, I love her red hair, as I am also a red-headed witch. And I don't know what's going on with this collared shirt. She's a little bit Puritan here. But I like the gradation in her hat. I think that looks phenomenal for just a small, you know, essentially 5 by 7 canvas. But the image itself, let's see how big the image measures from top to bottom in centimeters. We've got top of her hat to the bottom is 10 centimeters by edge to edge. It looks like the largest edge is here and here and there is about seven and a half. So um, in centimeters and that means about a three inch by four inch little thing you could fit these into a five by seven frame though because 
um, you know, it's a six and a half by uh, 4.75. So you can put this in a five by seven frame with, you know, matting around it and it would look great. But look at this witch. She's so dang cute. Next, you've got your tarot cards in a, in a hand with a nail. I like that. I like the hands are hard, you guys. So I'm impressed. I like that there's a nail and a hand holding two cards, which it's a three of hearts and a something of diamonds. But you can use all different kinds of cards for tarot. Oh, this one was done by my son. This was his first square diamond painting. And he really did a great job. I love it. I love this, the sun and the moon in the hourglass. That's really cool. The color palette is really amazing. I love how these look like actual beads. It's just neat. All right, next we've got a book of spells with a book and candle. We just need a bell in here. You got the Trinity for protection on the front of the book of spells. This one was done by my son's friend Jacob. And this was their first square that they ever did. Then I sent them home with uh, uh, their first round diamond painting. And I don't know whether they do anything with it. But check it out. This cute owl who's got a piece of mail that it's going to send sitting on a stack of books with a lantern. That's very cute. The eyes are just really exceptional for what you can get out of these small itty bitty little pieces, right? Next piece is a church and graveyard at a full moon night. The bats. Oh my gosh. Again, it's amazing what you can create the shading even that you can get with a piece this small. I have no complaints. Ooh, this one, black magic. Everybody's got to have poison. I like our mushrooms around the sides, the poison that's like eking out of the top. Little drip maybe coming out. And the wording, the lettering, it's sort of like an old school tattoo with the banner. Love that. Next piece, some amethyst crystals with some roses. This also looks like, you know, old flash tattoo artwork. All right, next one. You're, we're moving into my more favorite pieces, okay? This one is one of my absolute Favorites, a crystal ball with an eye. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's really neat. The purples in the in the gradient is, are just amazing. Oh, here we go. This one. Now, I know it's supposed to be a cauldron with like, you know, some liquid coming out of it or smoke maybe pouring out around it but I always thought it looked like a some sort of Cthulhu trying to escape from the cauldron as it's being lit on fire <laughs> uh, and then you know this crook to stir everything yeah it's meant to be smoke I know I know but I just thought oh they're like tentacles trying to come out of this cauldron and then next piece is a planchette from a tarot, a, a tarot, no, a Ouija board. Uh, you got your I and your yes, no, and then spirit here in the banner. I love it. Again, these gradients are amazing. What you can get in gradient with just these tiny little pieces. You can make some really incredible small pieces of art. And last but not least, this is... This is meant to represent the moon, and it is a kitty cat with beautiful green eyes. Now, I love that they made it a black cat, but it it's in gradients of gray, because you know, like, black cats are actually like a dark chocolatey brown, or they're a dark gray color. 
Um, I like that the nose is left very bright. The word moon on this banner, that's really, that's really cool in the gradient. I think they just did an amazing job. I really cannot say enough nice things about Paint Gem. Uh, I've completed, including this one, I think three other sets total. And I fully intend to complete more paint gems. I love their business. I love what they have to offer. Um, and I think that anyone would really enjoy it. If you go to paintgem.com, you can check out more of their uh, different offerings. And they offer these all the time till they run out and they order more. So if you don't see one in stock today... Just get notified to be uh, updated when they do restock, and you'll be able to get your hands on any set that you like. Yeah, it might not be exactly right then and there, but you'll be able to get your hands on pieces that you will really, really enjoy doing as much as I have. Um, so please go and check Paint, uh, Paint Gem out and see if you like them. I know I do. And uh, yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind, go ahead, hit that like button. Um, if you would like to, please leave me a comment down below or, you know, subscribe to the channel. If you want to take a chance on me, watch some more diamond painting content or share it with your friends and family, people who might like diamond painting content more than you do. You just never know. Uh, otherwise, you guys, um, you can check out some links in the description to join our Discord, and that is totally free. Uh, otherwise, you guys, I hope I see you again soon. I enjoyed showing off my paint gem finish here, and as ever, I hope that wherever you are in this great big beautiful world that you're having a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you're at. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good spooky season. Goodbye.